guys and welcome back. Today is HVT Weekly Reset Vendors. All right, and this is going to be showing you what I got for this run. And last week we've got a uh, we did get a exotic and I think three other items that was pretty good. Well, this week boys and girls, I got 11 items that I consider pretty good. And bear in mind, these items uh, was from uh, your caches plus all the HVTs, all this stuff. Everything works together. So when I count in the fact that I'm getting these items, uh, that's every drop from every enemy while running these plus your caches when you open them. I don't really think I've got much other caches. These mainly come from the HVTs. But... <clears throat> Before we get into this, I'm going to go over here and show you that every one of them is completed. Alright, and if you don't know, you can watch the first video I made of this uh, reset. And you can see how much uh, like Phoenix credits you get and so on and so forth. But other than that, guys, let's get in here. Alright, now, first and foremost... I got a performance mod that was top notch, 4% turret damage. Pretty good, yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the other ones. And bear in mind, I have not touched these, I've not modded these, I've not rolled these, I've not done anything. Um, I'm just going to be showing you straight up stats. We got a defense vest with 1910 armor, 1248 stamina, 6% enemy armor damage, 10% enemy armor or enemy exotic damage resilience and 51% ammo capacity. Now, you can roll whatever you want on this. I, I just feel like this is a good uh, chest. We have Century's Call Harness with 1199 firearms, 10% exotic damage resilience, 8% skill haste, 52% ammo capacity, and 1934 armor. We go down here, we've got a tactician's mask that is 997 armor with 1145 stamina which is kind of low but you could roll that up a little bit higher if you wanted to i think it goes to a 1272 or you could roll in your tributes and make it even different uh now the tributes is 6.5 percent enemy armor damage 16 percent disorient and resistance you got an operator's mask with a thousand one that's a thousand one armor that's the highest you can go on a mask 1263 stamina, talent is rejuvenated, and major tributes is 9177 skill power, 14% increased kill XP. Really good. Uh, we also got a final measure knee pads at 1648 armor, 1232 stamina. Attributes is 12,971 skill power. Minor tributes is 28% shot resistance, 14% damage to elites, 30% burn resistance. And we come up here to the backpack. And we've got a Lone Star backpack with 1303 armor, 1265 electronics with a major tribute is 11,593 skill power. Minor tributes is 15% disrupt resistance. We've got another Lone Star backpack that is 1316 armor, 1220 electronics. And major tributes is 11,397 skill power, 51% ammo capacity. We got a operator's gloves, which is 935 armor, 1224 firearms, and talent is savage. And the major tributes is 1242 LMG damage, 5.5% critical hit chance, and 4% health on kill. Now, this can be used, you know, if you really wanted LMG damage, just use this. All right. Uh, the firearms is about, I believe, 48 from being top notch, 1272. You got Savage on it, and you're like 65, 66 away from armor capped on this. And, of course, the critical hit chance go to a 6%, but that's 0.5% difference. It's not really going to make big, big difference. And you got health on kill. So you could either re-roll your LMG damage to Assault or SMG, which most people do. 
or leave it and roll your health on kill if you wanted to critical hit dam or damage. I mean, it, it's just, it's a decent roll. That's why I kept it. Uh, and we've got Predator's Mark Hoster at 965 armor with 1224 firearms, 1226 stamina, 1262 electronics. Major attributes is 19.5% reload speed. And we've got an Operator's Hoster with 979 armor. 1140 firearms, 1223 stamina, 1262 electronics, and talent of recover recovered. Major tributes is 3.5% critical hit chance. Now, if you're running some kind of DPS run, you could roll up your firearms. That'll at least go up 132 more uh, points. Or you could come down here and settle for that and roll your, your critical hit chance. I mean, recovered is damage taken during cover to cover is regenerated over five seconds when reaching the destination so um, I consider this a pretty good holster now as you can see this week I've got some pretty decent pieces uh, more than I did last week that's how it goes in this game R and Jesus loves you one week hates you the next or he can love you and hate you for a whole damn month but it was a really good run some of these pieces I'm going to be able to use that I'm going to roll myself and make a lot better. Now, um, I did get a Firecrest mask. Uh, now, I didn't showcase it because one of my friends really needed it for his build. And it was going to complete his Firecrest build. He's pushing nearly 18k of damage on that. So I, I felt like I needed to give it to him. That way he could have uh, the complete uh, set that he wanted and to make him beast mode because he plays a lot of DZ. But I did write some of the stats down just to let you know. And this did drop off of a boss in the HVTs on the weekly. Uh, it was Firecrest mask with 997 armor. 1191 stamina and uh, 9,695 skill. Now, and it had, um, I believe it had exotic damage resilience or something. I can't remember exactly what its other attribute was. I just wrote down the ones that I was looking at because <laughs> I was like, wow, this is a pretty good one. But the stamina was, I was going to be rolling that into uh, electronics, you know, because. All of my firecrests is rolled in this electronics. It would have helped me out a lot too. It'd probably push me up to 16 or more K on my turn. But he needed it more. He had a better build than I did as far as damage wise. His uh, toughness is not as good. But I mean, when you sacrifice a lot of uh, health and, and uh, armor or well, health prefer preferably for your skill, then. That's what you have to do to, to make your uh, skills a whole lot better. But other than that, guys, this has been your weekly HVT reset video uh, for April. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, this will be uploaded Monday. And uh, it was recorded Friday, but you guys will be getting it Monday because I do not upload on the weekends. Um, but guys, I will see you in another video. I think I will be, uh, bringing, uh, you a, another video pretty soon. I believe I've almost got another gear set ready to show. I've been grinding, man, trying to get it to be shown and show it off. And now I think I've reached the pinnacle point to where I feel like I can show it off. But, guys, this has been Just Hit Square. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.